This is David O'Darty. I'm here today with Bill Hardy of Hardy Septic Service. Uh, we do a lot of septics in Johnson County and Bill is the expert. Uh, so whenever we're uh, in the process of buying a house, we always have Bill come out and do our uh, inspections for us. Uh, and Bill, so people who are moving to the area who may not be familiar with septic systems, give us a quick rundown of just how, how a septic system would work. Well, everything from the house, including the dishwasher, bathtub, toilets, uh, washing machine, everything comes into the, into the septic tank from the house. Uh, there's bacteria in the septic tank that digest the materials, um, and they, as they digest, they settle down to the bottom of the tank. Now this and is the tank. This is the this tank is, here. This it's is about uh, how far from, from the house is it? According to uh, code, they have to be five and uh, at least five feet away from the mm -hmm. house. So, so, so from there, it goes to where? Uh, well, the septic tank is divided into two compartments. Uh, anything installed after 1982 uh, is a two-compartment tank. Uh, the primary compartment is up here. It, can, it comprises about uh, two-thirds of the tank. Mm -hmm. Um, as the bacteria works on the solids that are in this side, they digest, settle to the bottom, and that's where they stay. Then the water comes over to this side. All right, from the, from the primary compartment, the water comes to the secondary compartment. There's a baffle wall between the two that has an opening about halfway down. Yep. And that's at the water level. You have three levels in the tank. You've got a level of sludge in the bottom. That's the stuff that's already broken down that settles to the bottom. Right. You've got a level of water in the middle and then a crust that floats on top. Mm -hmm. And this opening in the baffle wall is at the water level. So right. theoretically only water comes to this side and uh, then uh, it'll have some suspended solids in yep. it. Those suspended solids settle out here. Mm -hmm. Now, if you let the septic tank go too long without being pumped out, and you let the solid level build up high enough in the in the bottom of that compartment, then you start flowing solids into this side. Yep. Okay. And that's the reason for pumping a tank occasionally. Okay. How often uh, do you recommend it, uh, pumping? Usually what they recommend is if you've got the average size tank, which is about 900 to 1,000 gallons, and the average family of three to four people, a tank should be pumped about every two to three years. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, um, so, f so now we go from here to the distribution uh, box? Right? From the yeah. septic tank, the water goes to the distribution box. You have a single line that comes into the distribution box from the septic tank, and then you have however many lines that are running through the yard leaving it. And the lines, the length of lines and number of lines is determined, determined by the, uh, the county environmental health when they come out to uh, Set, determine the system. So this is, uh, there's three lines on this house and, and you've got them marked with flags out there? Three lines on this house, yes. And uh, is, what is this area called? Is this? Uh, this is called the drain field. The drain field. Uh, the drain lines are also called effluent lines, uh -huh. nitrification lines, uh, leach lines. Right. So you might have a leach field or a drain field or an effluent field or uh, nitrification field. Well, thank you, Bill. So, uh, if somebody needs their tank pumped or their uh, septic tank inspected, uh, Bill Hardy, Hardy Septic Tank Service, what's your phone number? 919-639-2060. Uh, okay. And we handle uh, all of Harnett County, all of Johnson County, and the southern half of Wake County. Gotcha. Okay. Thanks a lot. No 